Buy an Intel Knock Barebones PC and get a limited edition t-shirt and in-game items for Planet Side 2. Welcome to the first installment of our Battlefield 4 testing. We're going to have many videos in the Battlefield 4 suite. We're going to have this video, which is immediate performance of all the cards and all their unoptimized drivers. We're going to have another video, which is all the cards later on once the drivers had time to mature and R9-290 comes out and 780Ti comes out. And that's going to be further on down the line. We're going to have a multiplayer benchmark one. We're going to have CPU tests. We're going to have RAM tests, tons of stuff. And this is the beginning of November, so for other benchmarks that are coming on the way, there's Batman, Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty Ghost, tons of stuff is coming for gaming benchmarks. So if you've been missing the gaming benchmarks, it's November, man. They're all coming right at you right away. For this video, our bench is running a 3960X at 4.0 gigahertz, quad channel kit of Dominators running at 2400 megahertz, and various GPUs that have all been overclocked. As you guys all know, we run all of our GPU tests overclocked, so that will not be any different here. And without further ado, we're gonna jump right into my benchmarking run. So I do this benchmark on the Singapore mission. I like to start benchmarks on chapter starts, for Battlefield especially, because that's kind of how the save, save system works. So if we do a chapter start mission, that'll work well. Um, one thing to note is I'm recording this with uh, NVIDIA GeForce Experience Shadowplay, the beta that's out. And it's actually pretty awesome. So I'm recording at 1080p at 60fps using the H.264 codec. And it's working great. I had some problems with Fraps where it was throwing this crazy rainbow effect everywhere. And it made it basically unwatchable if you had any problems with epilepsy. So I decided I would try recording in Shadowplay and it actually worked out, so I'm pretty happy about that. When you get up to the beach here, when you try and get out of the boat, do not try and move until he brings his gun fully up, because if you do, for some reason, he just jumps back in the boat, uh, which is really frustrating when you have to rewatch cutscenes to retry a mission. So yeah, I recommend not moving until he brings his gun up. Try to kill guys in a consistent order, you want to try and kill the same people every time to keep consistency up, especially that turret gunner, because if you don't get him down, things will change quickly, because he will wreck you. Uh, those guys nicely line up on the hill every single time and just allow you to mow them down. Make sure you mark those guys with Q, you gotta point at them extremely effectively so that the tank is ready to take them out with one giant blast. That makes the rest of the benchmark really easy. And then you just get to stand on top of this rock and pick people down. Once we get these two kills here and I run out of ammo um, at that convenient time as they're all dead, we can move up the beachhead, and when we get up to the top here, we're just going to throw a few grenades at a clearing, kill a personnel carrier, and then shoot a few times in the air just as the benchmark ends, just because we don't want the action to stop in the last second or two. So the personnel carrier blows the hell up, and then we shoot a few times, and your benchmark should end right around here. The story's a bit different this time around. With our 290X launch video, it showed that 290X, when overclocked, lost against an overclocked 780, but when they were both stock, it won. In this case, it's actually better in both cases. It wins stocked and it wins overclocked, which is not super surprising as Battlefield 4 is predominantly an AMD title. And looking down the line with both teams optimizing drivers, we don't really know where this is going to end up. But then again, eventually Mantle's going to come out and that's going to throw everything on its head again. So. We're going to go along this ride and just see how it turns out. We will obviously have a Mantle video when that starts becoming a thing, and we'll cover as many games as we possibly can. In these benchmarks, like I just said, AMD irks out a win and ends up on top in many different categories. And again, that wasn't that surprising. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. And in the comments below, is there any gaming benchmarking videos that you guys would like to see in the future? I named off a bunch at the beginning of this video, and I just named off at least one as well. So is there anything you guys are looking forward to? Is there any games you think I missed out on? Yada, yada, yada. Please let me know in the comments. And as always, subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.